Australia had uh, taken our community in at the time when there was so much calamity, so much uh, trouble, so much uh, hardship, you know, the killing field of Pol Pot and uh, uh, the Khmer Rouge. It is significant that, you know, Australia taking us in, give us a home and hope and a second chance to start uh, no, uh, anew in this country, and we have done well uh, to, to the extent that we owe Australia a debt of gratitude. And I know that in every Cambodian's heart, you know, refer to, to Australia as a second home uh, or second mother. I was born here in Australia. My parents came uh, to Australia as refugees in 1983. Uh, they came with nothing but the clothes on their back and uh, they came here to start a, a new and better life. They escaped the war-torn Cambodia um, and were obviously survivors of the Pol Pot regime. I'm so grateful and thankful to my parents who sacrificed a lot and worked so hard to start a new life and give my, my sister and I uh, great opportunities. Despite what they've been through and the atrocities and you know some of the stories we still haven't heard because the survivors are so traumatised. I think that those who have been able to come to Australia are so lucky. When we first arrived in Australia, at that time it is winter in July. Oh, it's freezing and all of the clothes that I wear at that time, we can't support the, to the weather in Australia. So it's freezing, all of the children and, and, and so on. When we arrived at the airport, we have some interpreter just go to uh, receive us, welcome us uh, over there. It is fantastic. So I believe all the refugees are thankful to the uh, Australian government because uh, we, have, we did not uh, receive a, a welcome like that in the, the refugee camp. And I was there to greet the first batch of Cambodian com refugees that came straight directly from Thailand. Uh, uh, remember 1976, they are mainly from the, uh, um, the old camp you know, at the border with Thailand. And we have to remember that all these people came from hell. You know, they, they suffer so much, you know, starvation, you know, deprivation, you know, uh, suppression. You know. And I remember some of them brought rice because they thought that, you know, that there's not going to be rice you know, for them to eat here. So it's just a tremendous feeling. And uh, they got nothing. They got only a T-shirt and their body, and, and that's it. No, no nothing, no possession. And now many of them now are millionaires. You know, they're making it. They're doing it very well. Getting your citizenship is a very special feeling, you know. Um, you feel like um, you're officially part of the large community. Uh, I feel like I was, you know, an Australian. I can call myself an Australian and, uh, like, have a sense of belonging, which is very special. And also um, having a voice, you know, like all the other Australians, we have a say in shaping the greater Australia. And I feel like I like the fact that Australia is democratic. You know, we, they, we value equality and offer fair goes for everyone. So I'm very glad um, that I, you know, I am an Australian citizen. Australia is the best country in the world. I am very fortunate to come to this country. For my advice, there are three things for you to remember. First of all, you have to have the right attitude. Secondly, you have to have gratitude. Thirdly, you have to be kind. Kindness is very important in the world. It makes you very happy and also you can help a lot of people in this world. Thanks, Australia. So when my sister and I were growing up, our parents always told us to work hard and um, they drilled in us that school was very important to finish school, to finish uni so that we could do whatever we wanted and have, you know, great careers. And um, they, you know, made so many sacrifices and were such hard workers. And I think they were great examples to come to a new country not to, and to be able to not even be able to speak the language and come with nothing but the clothes on their back and to start new lives. How scary would that be? Just like thinking about that now. Um, not only that, but they came 
with all these awful memories and what they've been through for four years in these concentration camps, I just can't begin to imagine what they would have been feeling. And I think as time goes on, you know, obviously you start to heal and that sort of thing, um, but I don't think you could ever forget what happened. And not only that, I think it's really important for the future generation to, to remember um, our history. come a long way from 40 years ago. I mean, you know, from um, leaving our homeland and coming and creating, building a new life, a new and better life in Australia. You know, I, I feel like I've seen the community has grown. Um, we're becoming a larger community and having a say in the larger community that is. We've got, you know, um, Cambodian leaders in the parliament. We've got Cambodian leaders in the council. We've got um, Cambodian shops, a lot of shops and restaurants around. Um, and we've got Cambodian school for languages and beautiful temples. So I feel like um, we have achieved a lot from the last 40 years and um, I'm proud of where we are right now. To have you know, three or four temples, to have a place where we can be proud of. So I believe that for the next 40 years, it is our generation to make sure that their legacy is being carried forward, their hard work is being recognized, and we must appreciate of what we have and how are we going to build you know, forward another 40 years for Cambodian aspiration. Australia is a beautiful country very multicultural, I guess continue to accept people and for who they are and hopefully they learn to live the way we do and, and contribute to society. And I think one more thing that I would really like to see is strong influential Cambodian leaders, you know, like we have um, a member of parliament Hong Lim and we've got the councillor Yohon Chia. They have like an astounding impact on our community, able to lead us and let us be heard in a larger community. And um, I would also really like to see strong female Cambodian um, leaders. I think we're just as equally capable. Mm -hmm.